Do you have any plans, Mama, for when we're away? Well, Shrimpy's men have found Princess Kuragan, and when she arrives in England, she's coming straight to me. What? When did you hear? Yesterday. So we've got her out and brought her to safety. You must be looking forward to seeing her again. Hardly. But if you don't like her, why have you gone to the business of sending Shrimpy to her rescue? That's what I keep asking. Well, Granny, you know me. Never complain, never explain. You don't usually have much trouble complaining. She'll arrive about six and come straight here. That'll give her time to change. I doubt she has much to change into. Yes, well, I'll, I'll see to that. And the prince? I've asked him for dinner at eight. You'll be there a few minutes before. Suppose he brings his toothbrush. Well, let him stay. I mean, they're well and truly married. God knows I can swear to that. And I've asked Lord Merton. Yes, he, he can talk to the princess. You know, they can, they can discuss syringes and stitches and things. Ooh, what fun you make it sound. It was kind of you to send a motor car. We didn't want you to get lost. Where is the princess? She's upstairs, changing. We haven't seen her yet, any of us. I borrowed this from the Theatre Royale. Oh. Well, shall we? Are you sure you wouldn't rather greet her in a room by yourself? We can always scoot back. No, no. It'll be easier not to be alone at first. I haven't seen her for five years. I want you all here. The presence of strangers is our only guarantee of good behavior. The Princess Kragen. Igor. Irina. Shall I introduce everyone? If you wish. But what difference will it make? Uh, you had a long journey, Princess. Obviously. I would so like to go to Russia. I'm afraid I never have. Then you've missed it. Do you have everything you need? I wear the clothes you had put out. I didn't know if you'd have your luggage with you. I have no luggage. I have no possessions to put in my luggage. Come, my dear. Nothing is more tedious than other people's misfortunes. Let us just be grateful to Lady Grantham. <laughs> Last time we met, the circumstances were rather different. I don't remember. I think you do. I think you'll enjoy Paris. Oh, many of our countrymen have settled there. Of course, they've lost everything, but so have we. Including the will to live. Well, if you're going to be miserable, you might as well do it in charming surroundings. With your permission, I'm going up now. I hope you will be comfortable. My maid, Dinka, will be looking after you. I will be more comfortable tonight than I will ever be again. You don't know that. But I do, Mrs. Crawley. Good night. What time will you call for the princess in the morning? When I will suit you, if that's what you've decided. Me? I'm surprised you think there is still a decision to be made. You are good to lend her those things. They're given, not lent. So, tomorrow we say goodbye. Is that what you really want? It's how it must be. I don't understand you. You will, if you try. Sprat will see you to the car. I'll do that. Oh. I should be going. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I have the sense that a game of high stakes has been played here tonight. 
Although I couldn't tell you who the winner is. Me, I hope. Good night. So, have you told the prince his cause is hopeless? Yes. I am sad to say. Sad? I will never again receive an immoral proposition from a man. <laughs> Was I so wrong to savour it? <laughs> 